So now you virtually have a one for one setup as a Nintendo Switch controls as Moth Thunder Rise, and it feels really nice. But there's one problem. Hello, you fine looking individuals. I'm here to show you what I feel is the best PC controls for Monster Hunter Rise PC. You can use your 8-bit dough, PlayStation controller, and yes, even your Switch controller. And we're gonna start right now. If this is your first time here, you wanna know more about Monster Hunter Rise, JRPGs, amongst other video games? Motion control, that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to do this setup with the 8-bit dough SN30 Pro Plus. Make sure to pair your controller with your PC or use a USB cable. Find the game under the library under the Steam menu, right click Monster Hunter Rise and go to Manage and to Controller Configuration. This window will pop up. Using the 8-bit dough or Nintendo Switch controller, you wanna make sure you're gonna adjust the buttons. Like, as you see how I have it set up, the X button actions Y, the Y actions buttons X, and so on. So to change the buttons, you wanna click this menu right here. You can click any of these buttons, so I'm gonna start with A, and then I'm gonna click this A position right here. And then I'm gonna click this B button right here on my controller, which is normally A on Xbox, and I'm gonna press right here where it normally is, or Nintendo. Click Y there, click Y there, click X here, and click X here. And now, you should be all set up. The X button will actuate as Y, the Y button actually as X, and so forth. Now, for the most important part, if you wanna activate gyro controls like it is for the Nintendo Switch, click right here, and for style of input, Go ahead and put mouse joystick. Once you put mouse joystick, the gyro enable button you want to have as left trigger because that's when you're actually aiming or using wire bugs. You're gonna be using left trigger anyways. So the enable button should be left trigger. You can adjust the sensitivity in the game. We'll go over that later. And for the sensitivity in the vertical scale, meaning up and down, you wanna make sure that this is all maxed out. And the gyro camera scale, I have it at the default setting. Once you've done this, you can see that you can move the controller around and it can move the mouse around with the controller. Go ahead and back out of here, and now you can start the game. Now, once you're in the game, go ahead and press the start button and go over to the left to go under options. First thing you wanna do is go to game settings and go all the way to the bottom of the menu. You're gonna find controller button icon type. This is going to select button icons that will display while using your controller so that you don't mix Xbox and Nintendo controls. On the left side of the screen, you'll see Xbox, on uh, type one, type two, more Xbox, uh, type three, PlayStation, type four, PlayStation, but type five, that's the Nintendo one. We're gonna go with Type 5. If you wanna turn off the controller vibrations, go ahead and go to the options menu, go to game settings, go all the way to the bottom of the menu, and you can toggle on or off the controller vibrations. Now to set up your gyro controls, you wanna go down to camera. Make sure the camera speed's on default. The mouse sensitivity is at one, which is I think is on default, and the mouse vertical camera sensitivity you wanna have max. It's pretty easy, you can use your mouse right here and just drag it from where it is and just move it all to the max. Same thing with reticle speed, default one and 10. And with the gunner reticle speed, you're gonna want slow. Sensitivity one, vertical sensitivity 10. You keep scrolling down, you'll see gunner aim assist. What this does is it slows down your camera when you're hovering over a target. It doesn't really feel very good. I'll show you the difference. Here's what it looks like when it's on. Notice how the camera slows down the reticules over the target. Same speed otherwise. Gunner assist off. Now the camera is just smooth. Doesn't matter what target you go over. One cool thing you do at the very bottom of the camera menu is that you can just pull the camera back. That gives you more distance, also gives you more vision. So you can play either really close or really far. You can practice controls on the right over here on the right side of the training area. You see, it's a lot easier hitting these targets with gyro controls on. Now I'm here in Nintendo Switch land. You can see that using the gyro controls for aiming is incredibly easy and fluid for the Nintendo Switch gyro controls. And also when you're dash dancing, you can keep an easier aim on the target. So now you virtually have a one-for-one -one setup as the Nintendo Switch controls as Monster Hunter Rise. And it feels really nice. But there's one problem, you can't snap. In the Nintendo Switch version, it's pretty easy to snap your aiming. But in the PC version, it's just not possible. For example, I can aim at the belly, and then I can aim at this rod. Belly, rod, belly, rod, and now I'm gonna snap to the rod. And it goes only half the distance. So for the Switch version, belly, rod, belly, rod, now here's the attempt, boom. So as you see, the Nintendo Switch version's motion controls are just more accurate, and they respond just really nicely. And you're probably wondering, hey Poogie Boogie, why is snapping your aim so important? I'm glad you asked.
of video right here if you want to know the best armors to use for Moss Hunter Rise. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.